I think it's time. I honestly really think it's time. I really do not want to talk about this. But you know. I got you. Here we go. What is up you guys? It is another motherfucking video. You know what I'm saying? But this isn't like any other video. I mean it is like any other video. But like you know what I'm saying? Like It's been about like a month maybe. Maybe three weeks. Since I released my last video. But this video is about me coming out. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Well, like this video and subscribe to my channel, Cringy Christian. And honestly, I put Cringy Christian on my YouTube and then it turns out it's on my Gmail. So people who've been getting my emails have been seeing that it's from Cringy Christian. I don't know, I found that out today, I was like, oh my god, like, I emailed so many jobs, and I barely noticed that I said Cringy Christian. But yeah, it's Cringy Christian, like this video, subscribe to my channel, comment down below. Um, sorry, I'm doing homework. And, um, okay, so, this is my coming out video, or how I came out. This is my story. Yeah. So, okay, it was about, like, okay, so... The, okay, so let's see. It was about like August. No, it was like summer of 2006. And, um, but this is like, oh my god, if like any of y'all that are seeing this, like my mom, my dad, but, okay, so my mom's, my mom's, we went to my mom's friends and we had stayed there. And her boyfriend's, son was there and he was like so cute like <sighs> well to me I mean like I think about it now I'm like he's so freaking ugly like he's not even my type but he was cute and I remember telling her friend's daughter I'm like he's so cute like this and that she was like oh so you like guys and I was like I mean yeah I guess you could say that so then like I had told her and she like made this big old deal out of it I was just like it's not that serious so then he ended up finding out but he didn't tell nobody because like, you know. So then I had told like my close friend that lived in an apartment building that I used to live in. We would always hang out and I told her and she's like, well, you know, I'm always gonna respect you and love you because you're the same person. Okay, I don't really think this is the coming out story, but I guess this is me coming out to my friends. You know what? And like, I told my friends about it and they're like, well, we knew you were already. And I was like, oh. Okay, well, I mean, I, like, I felt relief, but, like, I still couldn't tell, like, my family or whatever, because I was too scared. Like, honestly, I was really scared. And, um, oh, my God, I'm shaking. I don't know why. <laughs> I just, like, never really talk about this. Like, my coming out story, my story, period, like, I don't really talk about that kind of stuff, but I'm talking about it to y'all guys. And, um, so, like, let's see. I guess... I don't know who I told first. I think I told my cousin, my my really very close cousin. I had told her, and she was like, "Well, I sort of knew it already, like you know." So we were just talking, and like I ended up telling my uncle, and he was, he was like, "Yeah, I knew that already, like you know, like so." I'm like, basically, like my family knew already. I'm like I'm just like, what the hell? But, you know, I still couldn't tell none of them. So then, like I had came out to my grandma. And she was like, you know, I'm gonna love you no matter what. Like, and she like she called all of us into the room. She was like, if you're gay, you're lesbian. Like, I'm gonna love you no matter what. You're gonna be my grandkid no matter what. You're still the same person that you were when you were little, and you still are the same person that you are now. So even if you're gay, I'm still gonna love you no matter what. And I was just like, wow, like, this is how it really gonna be. Like, so I left that in, and then, like, I think like two weeks later, like it was me and like, well, I was home alone. And then my cousin had ended up spending the night. She was like, you know, grandma, your mom are talking about it. And like, your mom's gonna ask you questions, this and that. And like, I was like really scared. And like, my mom came home and it was just normal. And like, I just like, I was like, oh my God, what is she gonna ask? Like, I'm not ready to tell her. Like, you know, cause I wasn't physically ready. And I wasn't mentally ready because I wasn't know how she was gonna respond to it. But you know, my grandma called me too. She's like, your mom, mom knows already, this and that. And I was like, okay. But my mom didn't ask me questions. And I was like, okay, so I don't have to tell her. 
So then like a few weeks later, I didn't tell my mom, but like a few weeks later, like my aunt had came over and it was just me and her because my mom had left. And um, she was like, Chris, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah, you could talk to me. And she was like, she's like, she didn't come out like right away. She was like, you know, my daughter's, my friend's daughter has been, she's been hiding something from her parents. And she was like, and one day she brought home a girl and her mom caught her with the girl in her room. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, she didn't know how to tell her parents, but she, her mom found out and was really mad. But she wasn't mad, but she was just mad at the fact that she didn't tell her mom or her parents. Oh my God, I'm crying. <laughs> and I was like, okay. And she was like, if there's anything you need to tell me, you could tell me right now. And I was like, okay. And she was like, so if you need anything, I'm here. And right then and there, I just started crying my eyes out. I was like, I'm gay or I'm bisexual. I don't know. But she was like, okay, if you like girls, you like girls. If you like guys, you like guys. There's, you know, he's like, she's like you need to experiment, do things. Just be careful. She's like, I'm always going to love you. And she's like, your dad knows already. Your dad cried because of the way he treated you when you were little. And the way he would like make fun of you because you liked the girl thing. And he felt bad. And I was like, oh, okay. And she was like, and your mom knows too. And I was like, okay. So then like, oh my God, the fuck? I'm sorry. So then eighth grade year, I had, I was I liked the guy, like, I was obsessed, like, I don't know why I was obsessed, but I was, like, really obsessed. And, um, so, like, that guy, you know, I did something stupid, like, I did something stupid all the time. And, like, even though, like, we were really close, I liked him, but then, like, I did something, he was like, you know what, this is, like, I'm, the, like, he, like, respected me, even though I was gay, or whatever, and I liked him, like, he was, like, there for me, and I was there for him, like, you know? But then one day, I did something, he was like, you know what, that's it. Like, I was having a real bad day, and my mom, my mom was going out and this and that. Like, me and my mom had got into this big argument, and I had to go off. And, um, I had went home, and I locked myself in my room. And my mom freaking busted the door open. And she's like, is there something wrong with you? And I was like, no, there's nothing wrong, mom, I'm okay. And she's like, there's something wrong. And, like, we were just arguing, like, it wasn't, like, serious. But she, like... She came up to me, she hugged me, and she said, you know, I know, and you know, I'm gonna love you no matter what, and she was like, you know, it's okay, she's like, I'm always gonna love you, everyone's gonna be here for you, it is okay, I love you the way you are, you're my son, I'm not gonna treat you any other different, and like, right then and there, like, I just started bawling my eyes out. And uh, I was like, okay, well, she knows now. Like, I just felt uncomfortable myself. And so then, like, later, like, that weekend was my dad's weekend. And um, my dad called me into his room. He's like, come here, son. And I was like, whoa. Like, I was, like, really scared. Because, honestly, I think we are going to go somewhere before that. But I'm not sure. And he's like, you know I'm going to love you no matter what. And I was like, oh, like, I've heard this uh, many of times already. Like, by the time, like, I already knew what he was going to say, he's like, he was like, I'm sorry for, like, what I did, like, how I treated you when you were little, and about how you, like, you know, <laughs> how you liked Hannah Montana, and all this and that, and I was like, oh, okay, and he was like, I'm going to love you, and he gave me, like, a hug, and he was like, no matter what, you're still my son, and I was like, thanks, Dad, I thought someone was listening. Dude, this freaking lighting, like, I wanted to turn, I wanted to turn on my vanity, but, like, I'm sweating, and I'm like, oh, you're gonna see my sweat, and so, and, like, right now, you can't see me crying, but that's a good thing, because, look, this is how it looks when I put my vanity on. See, you can, like, see things. 
I gotta burp. No, no, no. I'm just gonna leave that on. <coughs> okay, there it is. Oof, excuse me. I'm just gonna leave that on. But yeah. And then I guess so, like the whole world knew, you know, everyone knew. And look. Yeah, and then like I did some stupid stuff later on that year. And I was like really depressed because my mom had found pictures of something. If you know what I mean. And she called my dad, and they were just talking to me. They're like, don't ever do that. Just leave them alone, you know? But I think, like, now that I'm out, um, everything's good. Like, me and my mom, like, my mom knows. I tell my mom who I'm talking to. I mean, I don't tell her who I'm talking to, but I tell her, like, talking to this person, how we met, you know, things. And, like, yeah, I just talk to her about things. And my dad, I really don't talk to her. But, I mean, I told him what the guy I was talking to. And he was like, okay, that's good for you. But like, now I think I'm just comfortable with, like, everything. Like, my aunt knows. Everyone knows. Like, and I'm like, that boy's cute. That guy's cute. That girl's cute. Like, it's pretty cool. I mean, like, it's like Hannah Montana living a double life. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But, yeah. I guess that's my coming out story. Sorry for crying. You know, and if you're not out to your parents yet or out to anyone and you're still in the closet, I feel like you should tell them, don't be scared. Don't. Think about the negative thing. Think about the positive. Because if you're in the closet, but the way you act or the way you dress or the way you, like, show. I'm like, I can't say the way you dress because some freaking straight guys have freaking amazing styles. And I'm just like, oof. oof. But, like, sometimes the way you act is, like, people already know that you are gay or you are bisexual. And it is okay. We are in a new freaking century. It's 20 freaking 18. You see freaking... People freaking kissing, same gender, same sex. Like, it is okay. So, just, if you're scared to come out, most likely your parents already know, your family already know. They just want you to tell them. They don't want to know. Or they, they, don't, they don't want to know. They don't... I don't know how to say it. They don't want to tell you that they know. Because that was my mistake. Okay, my camera is falling... Whoa. But they don't they don't want to tell you that they know because that is my part. I should have told them that I I I am what I am, you know? But I was too scared. And the, the possibility that that was okay was that they told me it was okay. So if you're gay, bisexual, pansexual, any LGBTQ, like if you're scared, just tell them. Because if you don't tell them, it's just going to break you down inside. And you're not going to know how to respond when they do find out. When you do not tell them. So please, take the time. Write notes. Do whatever you have to do to be yourself. And to let your family love you even more for who you are. Thank you. But that is it, y'all. That is my coming out story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like my, like, 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 like this video and subscribe down below and if you haven't like my like like and watch my other videos but yeah that's it thanks for watching even though if you can't really hear my voice or if you can't really know my story like this video is just like something i just i just crushed in between my homework and this like i really should have took time on this but you know I just wanted to get it done and over with so we could talk about other things but yeah thanks guys i'm out